Welcome to another video. Earlier today I was watching a video from, I believe he's called the Icelandic guy. It's a pretty good channel. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But he was talking about whether you should go full-time to YouTube or not. And in there he was making a point that, you know, you're your own boss and you can do what you want. But it was important to talk about things you're passionate about even if you don't think anybody else is going to watch it which I think is a it's a good bit of advice I know I've made a couple videos recently where I put a lot of effort into it one was about if some portrait photographers show their bias against their subjects and I used a few examples and another was about how you can look at different people photographers work. And I used Ansel Adams and what you can learn from them. And they hardly got any views, even though I put a lot of work into them. I don't regret doing them because even I learned something in the process of making those videos. So this morning I'm just out here looking for some spoonbills. Because right now there's a male that's got some really nice colors on him that I'm trying to find. I saw him the other day and I haven't seen him since. I got a couple good shots of him the other day and I think one of them might even be my March image of the month. If you haven't watched my image of the month videos, check those out. However, what I decided to talk about, which might not feel as though most of you might not feel be very important however I believe it is and that is to keep track of your best images and know exactly where they are I know some people will say well that's what Lightroom is for maybe <clears throat> I don't use Lightroom I think a mistake I made years ago was I put all these images on all different hard drives and I back some of them up to a Blu-ray disc and a DVD disc but there's they were scattered all over the place and yes you want to have multiple backups so what I did recently I bought a little Samsung SSD hard drive and I'm not here pushing Samsung just mentioning that was what I bought but I went through for the last maybe eight, 10 years and I moved all of my best images and cataloged them all onto one drive under a series of folders. And I marked them by date because on my other hard drives, what I had been doing was putting them in folders by year and then by month under the year. But I didn't always necessarily mark, okay, family photos. Now, if I have one December 25th, 2020, let's say, well, probably going to be Christmas photos, right? Some of them are easy to figure out. I marked them now on the hard drive of photography and then under photography, family, seascapes, travel. And then under travel, where did I travel to? and then mark them by year so that I can always go back wandering around because there's people walking and they've decided to stop and chat five, ten feet from where I was originally filming here. So I've really broken it down and then marked it, you know, September 1st, 2020, 2021, whatever. So I, so that if something came up and I wanted to go back and looked at look at that image again for whatever reason maybe I wanted to process it differently it'd be much easier for me to go back on the hard drives and say okay I know it was taken in 2021 I know it was in September 
and let me go find it there and not only find that image but the ones maybe right before or right after maybe process one of those slightly differently you know I had to I had to spend days going back looking for all those photos on on I think four different five different hard drives now I have all the ones that I really don't want to lose these people just keep following me and they stop and they talk right behind me I don't get it okay so I did my neighborly thing I suspect that they were tourists they were down from West Virginia and Maryland they asked me at all different birds around here so I did my best to explain it, show them where the nests were and things like that. I'm not a total grumpy old man, get off my lawn guy. When people want to talk about photography and nature around the area, I'll be happy to talk to them. Anyway, getting back to cataloging, again, I'm not a Lightroom user, so I can't speak from experience, but from what I understand about Lightroom, you know, it's going to attach itself to the file on a particular hard drive in a different folder. If you move that file for whatever reason, it's not going to know, Lightroom's not going to know where you put it to, from what I understand. And so I think one of the advantages of, and I'm not talking about every image you take, I'm talking about portfolio shots, images you really don't want to lose over time. Because I know from experience, being that at times I am the grumpy old man, get off my lawn guy, at least of age, I have so many negatives from back in the 1970s and 80s and 90s, probably early 2000s, that some of them are in folders, some of them are still in the original packets from when they were developed. You know, I have them all over the place. And I'm sure that there's images I'd like to have again. I'll never find them unless I go through each individual negative and pack it. And I did a video about concert photography not long ago and I couldn't even find most of the ones I was really looking for. Get one hard drive that's, I'm not saying it's only for photography, but things that you really want to keep and things that you really want to be able to get at quickly and catalog them and go down as many folders as you need to do or as few as you think you need but have them all in one location and then maybe even once that's all done break it up and put it all on a blu-ray disc or DVD DVD disc or maybe even store it in the cloud somewhere if you want to pay for another service these new devices now that are becoming a little bit more popular where you have these little rack systems that'll have multiple hard drives that are that you can set up to mirror each other and things like that so there are ways to keep your data and keep it safe you might have to spend a little money now the Samsung drive I think it was 150 bucks wasn't that expensive compared to if somebody said is all your are all your best images worth 150 bucks to you? I would hope you'd say yes. And so therefore, when you think about it, it's not expensive. And so that would be my recommendation to do it sooner rather than later if you haven't already done it. And I'm not talking about, yeah, I already have all my photos backed up somewhere. But do you have your best images all in one place where you can get at them quickly? And that would be my advice to maybe set that up. I know I'm a lot happier now because even then I went back and found some photos of say my daughters and my son. I forgot I even had them. You know, I put them on Facebook or Instagram, whatever, long time ago, or I may not even ever have printed them out. Or I may have, every year I do a photo book. Essentially I do it for my wife where I take the my best shots mostly of my family for the year and I make a photo book and I print it out but then sometimes I forget where those images are now I can go back and find them rather easily because of the way I have them marked 
So that would be my advice before it gets too overwhelming and you have to spend several days doing it like I do. I mean, I, I even, uh, you know, I write novels. I didn't even have all my books in one place. I had them scattered all over different hard drives. I had different versions. And, I, and it took me a lot longer than it should have to go back and find them. And that's, that's bad on me. You know, that's, that's my fault. Uh, I know Amazon and other places have copies of them. But still, you know, I want the original manuscripts. And I want to be able to find them. So that would be my advice. Catalog your, your best images on one hard drive and then back that up. And I think you'll have a, your peace of mind will be a lot better. So that's my photo tip of the day. Maybe 10 people will watch this, maybe more, I hope. But if not, it was good advice for myself and hopefully you'll learn something from it. As the Atlantic guy says, I don't care who looks at my photos. I just make videos I like. Terrible impression. Go watch his channel then. All right, until next time, take good care. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you.